Good morning. Wanted to end the week with sculpting out a stiletto nail. Let's go ahead and break this down. Let's go ahead and use the extended forms. And I like to place the tab underneath, just kind of dead center. This is gonna give support through the whole entire surface. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pinch the bottom and this will open up. And then what I can do is when I come in, I could use the tabs just to kind of, you know, kind of fold it back so that it's flush. And then once that's done, what I could do is secure the bottom and then again, seal the top, right? So that we have this really beautiful um, extension. So what I wanna be able to do is bring this out. Now, here's the thing, right? With this length, I have to just kind of make sure that I don't have it so that the point, right? We don't want this way too high. Okay, so once we have this down, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to build the free edge, right? So I need to make sure that we're gonna be working with enough product. Um, I need a large enough bead that I could kind of float out to the, to the end as long as I possibly can. I'm gonna be working with my signature series brush and you're gonna see, I wanna be able to get a lot of liquid that way I can get a large bead. Now, the consistency I need is something that's not going to run down the form. So what we're gonna do is submerge the brush. I'm going to bounce inside the powder. And then the first thing I'm going to do is, as you can see, sorry, I'm gonna bleed out excess on the back side of the brush. That way when I set it down, right, to the surface, it just stays in place. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of work it up right to the side, right? So I'm using the body of the brush to get it tight to the sides. And then with that excess, I wanna be able to kind of stretch this down and follow the shape, right? Of You can see all those lines, how they're coming out. One of the things you can do, the consistency is good, is you could kind of pull down and drag it out, right? To the length that you want, right? Boom, so as I'm pulling through to create an even kind of length. What I'm also doing is I'm using the body of the brush to kind of smooth everything out, trying to create a really, really nice tight extension, as you can see, all the way down. So we're going with an extended form. You can bring it all the way out to the end if you choose, but remember, as you are building length, you are also gonna be, the longer the nail, then the obviously the higher the upper arch is going to have to be. So I'm gonna to try to bring this all the way to the point. It's very difficult for me to, you know, because the nail form is so long, as I'm working over the top, this kind of gets in the way. So I have to kind of bring my hand and I'll show you guys, right? So if I have connection here as I go over the top, what I have to kind of do is just use my finger down below just to kind of hold it so that I don't shake. But if you have good, balancing skills, then what you can do is just make sure that you try to get that as even as you can from side to side. All right, perfect. And as you can see, I'm able to get it out to that point right there. All right, so now what we wanna be able to do is focus on the body. So I need enough product where we're going to get it down, right? You can see from the side how flat the nail is because obviously all we have is just a flat sculpted tip. So what we want to be able to do is get a, a bead that's going to not only self-level to this back end, we want it to be able to self-level down this way and with the right consistency so that it doesn't run this way, it runs towards the, the end. So you're going to need multiple pearls because of the length. So I'm going to submerge my brush. I'm going to get myself a nice healthy bead, right? I'm going to count out one, two, three, and then around the four count, I'm gonna kind of release it and then use the tip of the brush to walk around the perimeter. I get a slow roll, kind of holding the shape. Then as it gets past center, I start to pull kind of from the front and the side, right? Kind of leaving a majority of the product where I need to create support, right? And I have beautiful consistency, so I know it's not running everywhere. So all I'm doing right now with the tip of the brush is just kind of holding it and blending it forward, right, as I kind of work through it. You'll notice from the side profile, if I need to work some of that excess back, what I could do is I could use the body of the brush at this angle to kind of push up 
towards that, right? And then just kind of start smoothing it out, right? So you could see from the back end how it basically tapers down this way, tapers this way, tapers this way, and kind of fills the space, right? So I have my first bead that I've added to the, the cuticle area, which finishes it. And then again, it's created the right arch. So my second bead, I kind of want right through here because I need to build this up a little bit, a little bit higher, right? So what we're going to end up doing again is go with the same size bead because I still have quite a bit of product, right? And then what I'm going to do again is wait one, two, three. And then what I, what I like to do too is I like to set my brush backwards and then I could bring some of that excess through and then hold the sides, right? As everything kind of self levels down towards the front end, right? It's not running down the side. And then notice where I pull, I pull kind of from the front end of the bead here as it starts to set. And again, it, you know, it was wet, but I'm allowing the product, right, to kind of set for a few seconds before I set it down uh, to the surface of the enhancement. And then as you can see, as I start brushing it forward, it kind of really starts to fill in all that negative space on the front end well. And again, you can choose to kind of brush back to kind of even out the thickness, but you could already start to see that I'm really starting to build out that beautiful shape just with my brush alone. Okay, so last but not least, what we wanna be able to do is we need to fill in that last part right here from this part to this part, submerse my brush, get myself by kind of bouncing inside the surface, give myself a chance to wait, kind of feather back again, and then just use that excess to walk down. And, and then as you can see, th this is where I'm going to be using the body of my brush to bring it right down to that very, very end and then just kind of shape it by using the body of the brush uh, to put it into place. I'll always go into my liquid, constantly cleaning my brush so that nothing sticks. Then if I have to pull back, right, just to kind of blend some of that excess, then what I'm going to do is just, you know, again, just... You know, it, it's all about filling in the space and, and knowing how to how to get this right shape, right? And you can see my extension, how I, I was able to build it out from this point to this point as straight as I possibly can without having to file it. This is going to make all the difference in the world, right? And then again, you know, if I have, if I have too much or... If I have too much product, then, I, then I'm not going to touch it. I'll, I'll rely on my electric file. If I'm looking at the side profile and I'm like, well, I need maybe just a hair more right here, then what I could do is I could come in again with a small bead. I could set it down. So again, right here at this point, you can see how I blend it back. And then I'll pull from the front of the bead. And what that'll do is it'll leave the excess where I need it. And that way, when I'm walking it over, from side to side, you can see from the side profile, I'm working it from side to side, it kind of fills in the gap. So brush back, brush forward, make sure that everything is going to add to where I need. And then I can rely on my hand files and my electric files to file out the rest of the shape, right? So this is how we're going to sculpt, again, a beautiful stiletto. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rely on your electric file, your hand file and your electric file to do the balance of the shaping all the way through. Wanted to get this in so you guys could see how it's done. Um, again, trying to build out. And even on this side right there, you know, I, some of the acrylic, as you could see, is a little bit lower than the extension, which I'm going to be able to file out with my hand file um, as well as on the other side. But I have great shape. It's not going to take me a lot of time, especially around this area right here when I'm filing it because I don't have a huge ledge. That's going to be able to taper down and file into position really well, really easy, making life easy for you, right? There I have to line the file, as you can see at the high point, which is gonna be right here. I have contact all the way. All right, so I'll continue to work from side to side. And then, I just wanna make sure this is not gonna come off. And then from the side profile here, right, my lowest point is obviously going to be right here. Right? I don't want to line it up into the corner and then try to file up. 
I need to run it parallel to the finger, keeping connection at the lowest point. Okay, I don't want the nose of the handpiece touching. So I'm gonna run my electric file around 13, 14,000 RPMs. And what I need to do is I need to detail. So what we're gonna do is just kind of come around that cuticle area. And then as I start to work, right? So what I'm trying to do is create great shape from the side. And then once I have my upper arch in shape, I can, I can go around my cuticle area to take down that thickness so that I don't have to spend a lot of time using my hand file to blend it flush with the natural nail. This is gonna take it down. You notice I'm running it in one direction. I'm not going side to side. One direction. I'm making sure that everything is tight. From the side. And as you can see, all right, that's how we're going to be able to shape out and create the length that we want, right? Again, with the longer nail form. So for those of you guys that are interested in obviously sculpting out length like this, it's going to start by building out that free edge starting from the back end and building all the way down to this point. Cool. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. For those of you guys interested in our online classes, get a hold of Ray Bracamontes here at Home Office. I appreciate you all. Love you much. Talk to you soon. Peace. So what we're going to do is submerge the brush.